I um, am in the basement and my work desk and um, I was reminded of um, a thing I had done three years ago that kind of kicked off my whole um, journey experience with um, my visions and dreams and um, words from the Lord and I think it was it was the starting point of me dedicating my house, my family, everything I have, my friends, um, friends I have had, to handing it over to the Lord and um, making sure that I was and am um, and doing my best, my ability, my family, um, that we are all doing everything for the Lord, and that. Um, that was, he told me to paint my door frames like, like the um, Israelites did in Exodus for the Passover. Um, and I'm pretty sure that I've had um, prophecies out there about the coming um, plagues, per se. Um, but this kind of correlates with it. And I wanted to share it because um, I woke up this morning about 7.30 and I looked outside and it was a beautiful sunrise. And then I looked to the north and it was dark, like just an eerie um, spiritual darkness that I saw. And this day has just felt just kind of weird. Um, and I feel like all these things that have been prophesied and talked about and um, from me and from other people, um, I think the Lord's going to be bringing it to fruition um, quite shortly. And um, so in saying that, I wanted to urge you guys to paint your doorposts. And while I, I did it... Um, do it, I did it figuratively and literally, but I, I painted a, um, a piece of wood with red paint and I made it look um, like blood red. Um, and I put it, it's hanging over our front door. And um, it's just a sign for us, for me, that I've dedicated everything I've got. Everything I have is, is God's. And I can't take that back. I can take it back, but I don't want to take that back. Um, and that we need to paint, make sure our doorposts are painted. And for me, what that means is that that everything we've got is God's. And that when the darkness does come, that it'll pass over us. We, I'm, that's not to say we're not going to have troubles. We're not going to have tribulations, because obviously the Bible says we're going to have um, trials and tribulations of many kinds but when the darkness comes to us it will pass over us and just like the Israelites they had light spiritual light in their homes when um, the darkness came because they painted their doorposts they also had water when the when the um, water turned red and um, they were the they were the light to the world, the little world they lived in. Um, but you know, I mean, that's what we're supposed to be. But they were literally, they were literally they could see the light in their homes when there was no darkness, there was no sun. Um, so if you haven't read Exodus, please go read it and um, pray about it, and. I really do think what has happened will happen again. Um, not saying we'll be here for it, but it's highly likely. So, I mean, I know Australia's already had that insane amount of, um, was it frogs? Or, I don't know. I, there's some of you guys from Australia. You had like a plague of, of, of something, I remember. But, um, yeah, so... We don't know what exactly is going to happen, when it's going to happen, but we know it's going to happen. And um, we just need to be ready for that spiritually because um, I think our time is, is, is coming.
coming. Our time is coming. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great Sunday and I'll talk to you later.